Today is a special day because we are going to be working with scrapbook paper. So welcome friends to my craft DIY channel. My name is Heidi Sambel and I'm so thankful that you stopped in to say hello and to watch this video. We are going to be using scrapbook paper and I am sharing my tips and tricks on how to get the perfect size for your wood decor pieces. Alright, now let's get crafting. Now I'm calling this project a bird condo because it looks like a little bird neighborhood. These are the supplies we're going to be using which are three houses, one wood round, some wooden squares, some Spanish moss, some wooden stakes, craft stakes, and then some scrapbook paper. Now this scrapbook paper is an older collection, it's from my mind's eye, but there are so many beautiful options out there for scrapbook paper, so just pick what you have on hand or in your craft room. Now if you already know how to cut paper down to size, go ahead and fast forward to 4 minutes and 40 seconds where I start to build my bird condo. Start by taking off those bottom stickers and pick out three different pattern papers that you would like to work with. Then we're going to take a piece of paper and we are going to put it at the edge of the house down where the floor of the little birdhouse is and we're going to crease the line and cut it right there. This is going to allow you to be able to know the width of that house on the back of the house and then you're going to see here that I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to press up in there to get the dimension of the top of that roof line but on the inside not the outside of the roof line. Go ahead and make your cut and then I always like to check it again to make sure that's the right size and then using my finger I'm going to push up into that other corner to get the right size. There will always be a little bit of hangover. What you're going to do if that is the case, you're going to go ahead and use your scissors and trim it up if you need just a little bit of some trimming in there to make it fit perfectly. At this point you're going to already have the back side of your house piece cut out without having to do all kinds of crazy tracing and struggling and crinkling the paper. Now the back side and the front side of the house dimensionally is going to be the same size. So you can go ahead and just take that piece we just made and we're going to cut that out on another piece of the paper and now what we're going to do is we need to get that hole for where the little bird is going to sit on its ledge. I went ahead and creased down onto that little circle. I'm going to use my crocodile and now you're thinking, okay, how do I get the hole for the birdhouse door to get in? Go ahead and poke a hole and then with your finger start to press around to the rim of that hole. This is going to allow you to be able to come in with some small scissors. In the scrapbook world we call these fussy cutting scissors. <laughs> I always thought that was the funniest name. So then you've got your hole cut out and now you can go on to the sides. Now we're going to take the paper. We're going to do that same trick where we figure out how wide it is. We're going to come in up underneath the roof line and crease down at the floor and that's going to let you be able to get the size inside there perfectly. And again, if you have any hangover and it's not fitting quite right, you can just keep trimming it down with your scissors until you get the right size. Now I'm going to show you how to do this roof line where it's a little more complicated, but again it's just kind of following the same steps. Start at the footing of the house where the floor is, get that first peak line even though it's got that ridge going bumping down with the roof line changing not just being a straight across roof line and now once I've got that top peak figured out I'm going to come in with an exacto knife and I'm going to press really hard into those corners and I'm going to make sure then after they've been pushed down I can take my craft knife and follow along the edge for those more trickier spaces. This is when I like bringing in the craft knife because it really does help you get into those corners. But craft knives are always a little tricky with wood projects. Sometimes they don't let you get the perfect cut. It really needs to be a sharp blade. So if your blade is giving you trouble it could be that you need a new blade. But just keep taking your time and cutting down those pieces and testing it out. And then before you know it, you've got yourself the perfect piece that will fit along that roof line. Now, I know a lot of people love to use scrapbook adhesive, but I do not like doing that with wood projects. The adhesive over time will dry out on the wood pieces. So I actually like using hot glue gun, but my trick so it doesn't get bumpy, you need to work quickly. Put your glue down and then you're going to take a popsicle stick and manipulate the 
glue underneath it pushing it out. Here are our three bird houses and now we're going to work on jointing them together. This part is so fun and it it's really enjoyable. I had a really good time making this little bird condo. I'm going to take four of these little wooden squares because we need to create a ledge for the birdhouse on top to be able to nestle into the birdhouse on the bottom. So I just marked where I needed them to be so that the birdhouse would be straight on top. I'm going to put two of these squares and then I'm going to come over on the other side and put two more squares. Now at this point I decided to go ahead and use a watered down paint stain. It's just some paint with some water. And I'm going to just go over, making sure I don't get any of that water on my scrapbook paper. And then I'm going to, once it's dry, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my glue because we want to conceal those wooden squares. This is perfect to bring in the Spanish moss at this point. So I'm going to cover around the sides on the rooftop and I'm also going to put them on the outer side of the square. Now at this point, you're going to put a whole bunch of this hot glue <laughs> and you're going to put your top bird house on. This is where it becomes a little condo for the birds. And we're going to make sure the bottom roof of the house and the flooring roof of the top house are aligned in the front. Go ahead and grab your wood round once that's sitting and drying and cut off the twine and patch that hole. Now we are going to take some of these craft steak sticks that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Everything's from the Dollar Tree, by the way, except for obviously the scrapbook paper. But I know that sometimes they do have that there in their craft section. I just don't like the patterns as much, honestly. <laughs> I, I know that if you're a crafter, you probably have lots of really cute papers that you could be using for this birdhouse. All right, now we cut those down to size. You're going to see that I had some a little bit longer, some a little bit shorter. I'll put the measurements down in the description box, but I'm going to glue three of them together. Now, this is probably the trickiest part where it's a little more advanced. But again, you could always just glue it onto the birdhouse. But I always like to make sure things are cut and placed inside with wood. But again, if you really want to, you can always just put a nice big glob of glue and glue them on without drilling any holes. But if you have a drill and you feel comfortable, I would definitely say drill the holes. Now you can even see here that I don't even have the right size drill bit. So I just make a few different holes. And I also, again, I'm sure if there's a guy watching this, he's going to be like, oh my word, what is that lady doing going around in a circle? I'm making sure that there's a free movement as I'm swirling around to make the hole a little bit bigger. I was just honestly being a little lazy because I didn't want to go out to the garage to get my other drill that has a bigger drill head on it. So if you have a bigger drill bit and a bigger drill head, totally do that. Otherwise, you can just glue these down and that will work too. So at this point, you can see that I'm gluing my birdhouses to the two different size staked legs. And then I'm also gluing them into my wood round mount. Now at this point, this is just becoming so adorable. And I decided to go onto my printer real quick. You can use a program called paint.net. It's a free editing digital design program that Google puts out. Again, it's called paint.net and you can just print out a little square and then I put some text on top of it that says home tweet home. Put it on one of these garden tags and I'm staking that into my wood round as well because they need a little sign too for their little bird condo. <laughs> Why not? I feel like this is such a whimsical magical spring project. Now I'm sharing how I get that farmhouse look. You are not going to heavily saturate your paintbrush. You're going to rub it across the paint where you have the paint only on one side. And we're going to just simply drag our paintbrush across. That's how you get that wood to come through. I just lightly drag it across and I'm going all over the rooftops and all over the flooring of the bird houses. And then down at the base, we're going to have a nice finished look down there. I went ahead and painted that with about three coats of white paint on the base and the legs of the treehouse, So it looks really polished and clean. Now we're going to come in with some moss to conceal all that hot glue down there. Plus it goes along with that birdhouse theme and I'm just cleaning it up. And I don't want to cover the whole thing because you still want to see that wood base. Now at this point, I've decided to add a little bit of moss inside the bird holes 
and a couple of bows because I love a good bow. And I'm going to put a couple of buttons right on the front. Friends, this project was so fun to make. And the last thing that I did was take some of the Dollar Tree lace ribbon, wrapped it around the base of the wood round, and glued it into place. I love scrapbook paper so much. It is such a happy medium to work with. Friends, I hope you will give this technique a try, that you will take these tips and tricks and use them on a wood decor piece that you have sitting in your home that you can give it a fresh new look. Leave a comment down below if you like scrapbook paper as much as I do. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video coming very soon. I'm gonna recommend a few past projects project videos and until the next episode. Bye friends.